When something you need or you want is on the floor, what do you do? You bend down and you select it. So I don't understand why you are asking me if I wear bend down select. Everybody wears bend down select. So I'm not any different. Okay? In this video, you are going to learn how to profitably do bend down select business. That is thrift. Thrift clothing, thrift wears, thrift everything that they call Okrika business. And you're going to learn it in this video. And I'm going to share with you three, three ways you can start making good money from thrift clothing, thrift wears, thrift shoes. This thrift thing that we talk about here, this thrift thing I'm talking about is foreign used clothes. Foreign used clothes business in Nigeria, three killer strategies you're going to learn in this video. If I were you, I would go nowhere. Hi guys, it's your boy Victor Esibo once again. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, you're welcome to the channel. Ensure that you subscribe. It is free to subscribe. You're not going to pay anything to subscribe. Hit the red subscribe button below. Turn on the bell notification icon. Put it on all so that you get every notification. If I cough, <coughs> you will be notified. If I upload a video, you will be notified. When I sleep and I snore, you will be notified. So put it on all so that you won't miss any of my subsequent videos. And to my returning subscribers and viewers, salute! Like in the military, it is a pleasure having you back on my YouTube channel. When we are talking about thrift clothes, foreign used clothes, Okrika business, everybody wears Okrika. No, 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 I'm not saying that everybody wears it every day. I don't wear it every day. Right now, I'm not wearing it. But I have some very, very good clothes that, are, that I bought at Bend Down Select. I don't form. I don't form. You that are thinking, eh, what is Bend Down Select? See, I can tell you something. Most of those slay mamas, those slay queens you see on Instagram, Nigerian slay queens, majority of them, they wear Bend Down Select. When you go to the thrift market to buy clothes, you will see them. You will see them. They will be picking undies, bras, pants. Most people even prefer them because they last longer for you. They are top quality. Okay, if you buy Nigerian made ones now, you start having issues with them. But Bend Down Select will give you top quality. And this is a business that everybody is patronizing. People are making a lot of money from this business because Nigerians love bend down select rich poor middle class everybody wears it yes that is what i have brought to you today and you can start that business today i don't like when people complain yes i know that economically things are hard uh -huh. but inside this deep shallow water of economic hardship some people are still staying afloat and they are swimming how are they doing it they don't sit back and start complaining they look for something creative to do Something that will make them useful not only to themselves but to the society at large. So I bring to you today Okrika business and I'm going to tell you three very good strategies that will make you cash out big time. Strategy number one, it starts with a story. The last time I went to this thrift market, they call it new market where I live, to buy some, you know, nice shirts because I had something official to do and I'm not a long sleeve, official long sleeve person. I wear mostly vintages. So I had, I wanted to wear this very formal official long sleeve. Where am I going to get top quality long sleeve that will look nice on me? I decided to go to new market. That is where they sell Okrika clothes. Upon getting there, I met Mr. London. Mr. London happens to be the name of somebody who is very friendly and I patronize him all the time. Mr. London, sell clothes for me now. Mr. London was acting busy. And there was a particular guy. He was also a buyer, just like me. We stood around the clothes. He had a heap of clothes in his arms. And he was having an argument with Mr. London over the price of the goods. I looked at what the guy had. The guy had some of the best long sleeve shirts there anyone i pick from mr london is inferior to the ones that the guy had with him they couldn't agree price the guy dumped the clothes and left in annoyance and i asked mr london what's up with that young man he dropped some of the best long sleeves here mr london now gave me the secret and that is the first strategy i want to share with you 
Mr. London told me that this guy that just left has one of the best boutiques in town. You remember at the beginning of the video, I said everybody wears Okrika. You don't believe me. Even you that you say you like to go and buy in boutique, you don't know whether you are buying from somebody who buys from Okrika. So by extension, by extension, you are a distant relative to a typical hardcore Okrika wearer. Yes, you are an indirect relative to us. We that wear it. Now, the guy buys Okrika from him. All those fine, fine long sleeve shirts. He will buy them some 500, some 700, some 800. Maximum, maximum 1,000. What this guy now does is he will now go and wash them. He could use his washing machine. He could use his hands. He does a thorough job with the washing. He does a thorough job with the washing. He will now do what? He will now iron them. Pressing iron. Iron them. Starch them. What he now does is that he now keeps them in his expensive boutique. He will now switch on this blue halogen light on top of the clothes. They now look exquisite. They now look expensive. See, packaging is everything. That food that you will buy 500 naira at a local restaurant, that same food, you can buy it for 50,000 naira depending on how the restaurant looks like. Yeah? Now, same thing goes for clothes. That clothes he bought at 700 naira. By the time he takes it to his expensive boutique, somebody will be telling him, uh uh, this cloth, this long sleeve, let me buy it for 12k. And you'll be saying, no, 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 no. 10,000 naira last. That guy makes more than 500%. Why? Because he has packaging at his boutique. So he buys cheap from the Okrika market, washes them, takes very good care of them, puts them in his boutique, and people will come and be buying them for exorbitant prices. You know the people that patronizes this guy? The people that say, I cannot wear Okrika. Why will I wear Okrika? I'm like, don't, don't let me go and buy at the boutique. Don't worry. You will meet us there. We are, it is we. It is us that you will still meet there. Okay? So that is a very good strategy for you. You buy very low. This is not Forex or crypto. But you buy very low. You huddle. You hold the clothes. Take very good care of them. Put them in your boutique. Mm, and sell out fast. If you start this business, you're going to be making a whole lot of money. There's no need complaining about the economy. The economy will take care of itself. Leave economy. Leave all the problems in the country. Take care of yourself. This business, as at the time of making this video, if you have 100k, it is even too much. Yes, now. Do you know how many long sleeve Okrika you will buy at the main market where these guys are opening bales? You will buy a lot of clothes for 50k. And that 50k, by the time you sell out, let's say you buy one 1k, eh? one long sleeve 1k, 50k will give you 50 pieces. By the time you now go and sell at your boutique, very cheap, for 55k, do you know how much that is? That is 250k from what you invested 50k. I will not talk more than this. I've given you, they say, cut soap for me. This, I have not cut soap for you. I have opened a soap factory for you. I have opened soap factory for you, if you don't know. See, don't watch my videos and don't take action. Me and you will quarrel. Take action on what I just said and leave it in the comment section below how it worked for you while I go and bring strategy number two. Strategy number two is, okay, you don't have too much capital to go into this business. Why don't you buy from the wholesalers? Yes, let's say you don't have a boutique where you can use packaging to sell it very high. Buy directly from these people that sell. Take it to the front of your house. Look for one umbrella and hang them around. That is the one that you even see the most all around. You see people selling these clothes under the umbrella in front of their house, in front of their homes, and people love to buy. Do you know that when schools are about to resume, do you know how many parents look forward to buying new school bags and sandals for their children when school is about to resume? Those things sell out very fast. I don't know any lady, honestly, that does not wear Okrika on this. I don't know anyone. If you know, you can write her name in the comment section below and tag her. I don't know any lady that wears Nigerian made or tailor made on this. They always wear Okrika because they say, according to them, they say the strands of the brass of Okrika are stronger than Nigeria own. Especially if the woman is endowed in front. This trans can cut if it's Nigeria. Well, that's what they said. Me, I don't know. But that is what they said. So when you buy from these wholesalers, 
it doesn't matter your budget they will sell for you hang them in the umbrellas people will buy people will buy i have cut for you soap number two let me go and bring soap number three for you strategy number three coming your way now let's say that you are a lazy person you don't know how to do business you don't know how to hustle you don't want the stress of you know having a boutique you don't want the stress of hanging the clothes in an umbrella in front of your house let me give you the most powerful strategy strategy number three go and buy bail in lagos you have lots of markets where you can buy bail of clothes you can buy bail of undies you can buy bail of children wears you can buy bail of trousers you can buy bail of shirts you can buy bail of hanky you can buy bail of anything go to aswani market or any other market in lagos buy the bail after you buy the bail go around and look for all these umbrellas people that sell retail tell them you have bail tell them you have bail tell them you have bail you have lots of them they are ubiquitous in nigeria they will come and buy off all they will buy them off all all the bail that you brought they will buy off everything that way you have already established contact they will be the ones asking you when next are you going to the market they don't have the money to buy a whole bill they are small small retailers they don't have the money to buy a whole bill they will be the ones calling you ah ah vico you never go market go bring bail by the time you go to the market eh the day you will come you will sell out because they will always like to rush your bill because the clothes inside one bill are of varying qualities so they want to pick out the best from your bill so they will come to your house early to get the best from your bill even if it's a bill of shoes they want to get the best out of it as soon as they leave your place they are going to the next place where they are opening bill okay so you can you can even start like this just go around Tell people who are selling retail okrika clothes and shoes and wears. Tell them, I want to bring bail. Collect their numbers. They will tell you, when you bring it, call me. When you bring it, call me. Don't go to the market for three days. You'll see they'll be the ones disturbing you. You haven't brought the bail. You did, I didn't know you were not serious. Because they don't have the money to go and get the bail. The bill can cost anywhere between 120, 120, 150,000 or thereabouts. These are small retailers who like to stock up their business with 20, 30, 40, 50,000. They will disturb you. They will be the ones that will motivate you to even go to the market. And as soon as you come, they will buy everything off of you. Nobody will even know the work you are doing. Because nobody will see you doing anything actively. Now, if the cost of each item in your bill is 2200 because it's always cheap when you're buying in bulk, you can sell for these people for 400 They will be glad to buy because they will now go and sell 6600 That's that, that means you can, you can make times two of what you invested. You buy a bill for 150000 By the time you sell it on retail, you get like 300000 and you can go to the market again. This is a very good business that is proven to work. Let us give Ponzi a break. Eh? Let us do small legit. Uh -huh. And while we are doing it, we can be teaching our younger ones and our kids on how to do something lucrative. Don't teach your children Ponzi or it will ruin them. Don't teach them Ponzi. Don't teach them Ponzi. Uh -huh. So, I hope that you learned something from this video. Okay? Let me see your reaction in the comment section below. Please take action. Take action, guys. Take action, guys. I'll be very glad if you take action and you come into my DM to tell me, Victor, this thing worked for me. That is the fulfillment I get here. Please take action. Don't just watch the video, like and share. Like and share it, subscribe, but ultimately take action. I'll be glad to hear your testimony. My name remains Victor Isibo. I will see you in the next video. For now, it is bye-bye.